be here. The... I'll break it off here. I'll break it over your head. Ladies and gentlemen, you're a real crumb bum. See, these guys are all the same. With filthy mouths and bad attitudes. That crumb show. Play every word of it, crumb. I come walking out of a bar with a prostitute. Are you okay? Welcome to the Crumb Show. I'm Fat Chicarella, Jesse Marchese, Chris Reynolds, and Jerry Joe Pesci. Here at the Crumb Show, we like to get into the crumb side of life. We're all big crumb pieces of fucking shit. Mm -hmm. So let's laugh about it and have a good time. <laughs> but uh, tonight we're going to start with our Facebook poll from our illustrious Facebook social media manager, Christopher Christopher. Christopher. <laughs> Christopher. <laughs> uh, oh, Ren Dog over here is going to get into the Facebook polls about school shit, shit that happened in school, crummy teachers. We all had crummy asshole teachers. I remember I got shook in third grade by this, uh, I'm not going to say nothing about her besides this asshole teacher. I got up and went to the bathroom. I probably raised my hand and asked if I can go. She probably said no. Did you have the poop or pee? Pee. Yeah. I only pooped in school, I think, one time in uh in uh one time? <laughs> All your school you only pooped one time. I mean I know I didn't poop a lot, but more than one time. One there wasn't time. doors on the high. stalls, dude. There was doors. Not in our, not in Narstown High, there was not doors on the stalls. I pooped in a thing with a stall. I went by the lunchroom. Like when it wasn't. Maybe lunch. I, maybe there was. I don't remember. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't poop a lot in I school. I never went to Nicetown High, so I... I'm pretty sure there's some, they didn't have so doors on the stalls because too so many people were smoking in there. So. Yeah. In the I'm pretty bowl. sure they had doors. <laughs> I would do d dumb shit. Like, I think I might have tried in uh, probably Eisenhower or something. I went to the nurse. Uh, that's a private band. Yeah, I think yeah, I did that private. maybe once. Tone, to Tone had a teacher to tie him to a seat. Really? Yeah. My mom went there what? and was going to... Yeah, because he, he had a poop and... uh. He, I think he just got up, so the teacher tied him to a chair with her belt. It was a substitute teacher. Damn. My oh. mom went there when she found out she was going to beat her up, but the she went to swing on and the principal, I think it was uh, Mr. Constable in Stony Creek. He got hit because he jumped in the way. I'm going to punch teacher. Who swung? My mom. Maria. Yeah. He got up my mom, the old Norristown slugger. Knock him out the box. Yeah. But uh, yeah, this bitch, uh, I came back. She was like, where were you? And she like grabbed me and literally shook me. And I had that. Long ass seventies <laughs> hair. So my hair was probably all crazy and shit. <laughs> that was pretty funny. She was a cunt. Everybody in the class went to her house for for getting like I don't know passing a test. So I forget if it was math or spelling or her math. house. This thing was math. Yeah, for dinner on like a Friday night. It was a different Hell world yeah. back then. Yeah, yeah. A different world back then. Should have dressed a little sexier. Nah, I must have <laughs> never passed the, the math. Like got a hundred on the math test or some shit because I never went. Either that or she was prejudiced against Italians. You imagine that in this day and age? Day Too and broad, age. prejudice against Italians? <laughs> Fucked up. But, dude, that happened today. You'd be paid, dude. Hell, yeah. You'd be paid. Yo, listen to this other crumb shit, and then well, somebody else will go, and then I'll tell you another crumb story. Hey, you're on a roll. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'm waiting to hear it. Yeah. Can't start something like that. Yeah. Seventh grade, Eisenhower, right? You didn't go to Eisenhower? Nah. Uh, Eisenhower, <laughs> right by the front door. There's a couple classrooms right by the front door of Eisenhower. So something happened out front, and uh, anything happens out front in the spring when the windows are open or if we can hear it, everybody runs to the fucking windows. So everybody ran to the windows. And uh, the teacher, funny shit, he looked like Bill Clinton. My buddy pointed that out. Aaron, rest in peace, Aaron Ganey's birthday was mm -hmm. the other day. Uh, he was funny as shit. He would just point this crazy shit out years later. He'd grab you laugh and real squeeze your arm real hard. Remember? He'd be like, yeah, remember? And then he'll say the guy's name, teacher's name. Don't he look like Bill Clinton? You know what I mean? It's fucking 10 years later. But uh, everybody jumped up, and everybody's yelling about what happened. And this one quiet chick, I feel like I should say her name just cause to say, like, I remember. And that was fucked up, even back in 1987. She didn't say nothing. She was like in like the was one seat between her and the radiator and then the window. All she did was turn around and look like this. And this teacher was standing here looking out the window. And I was standing behind him. He turned and looked at her and just smacked her right in the face like... Psh. The teacher? Yeah, and told her to sit down. Meanwhile, there's 20 other kids out of their seats clamoring at the windows. And this chick was quiet as shit. I went to school with her all through elementary school and up in the middle school. 
smack the shit out of her. Oh she didn't say God. one fucking word she before crying? or after. Yeah, she started crying. And he was a laid back, cool ass teacher. I wonder why he smacked her. Because he probably needed to smack somebody. He lost control of his classroom. So he took the weakest, weakest link. She was right there. She was the antelope and, like that straggled behind it that the cheetah gets. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. That but sucks. That's the Poor age girl. difference, though. Because we're like four years difference in age. What's the age difference? Me and him from going to Eisenhower. Oh, uh, yeah. So you guys couldn't have been, you wouldn't have been in middle school together. Four years. Uh, well, I guess you would know. Well, if we would have passed every year, <laughs> been on time, or at least failed at the same rate, we could have ended up in high school together. But we remember it was about together, right? Oh, Jerry wasn't there yet. Jerry wasn't yeah. there yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My last year was your second year there. Or my first year. The second year. What, the second year? Yeah. Just yeah, to hide behind the wall, wait for you to come out and pick me up. Okay. You guys were there. They kicked him out because I was coming the next year, and there's mm-hmm. no way we could be together. <laughs> that would have been fun. <laughs> Fucking ghetto ass uh, Saved by the Bell. Mm-hmm. It would be called Saved by the Bizzell. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you can't say, uh, I don't even want to say it, but some lady got canceled for saying, for shizzle my... Really? We all know the rest. Yeah, because she didn't know that that meant what Nizzle was. <laughs> <laughs> cut that. Cut that. Sorry, Snoop. Jesse, cut that. <laughs> Sorry. That's our show. Yeah. No, she didn't understand where that came from. You know what I mean? I apologize to if I offended anybody. I thought you could say that, though. No. You could say it in your car when you're singing it by yourself. <laughs> right. I thought I heard people on podcast saying that, though. I don't, I don't. This lady said it on the news or some shit, and she didn't know the... Uh, oh, on the news. Yeah, she didn't. Uh, she didn't process oh, her words. What, is that what it Much was like right? I did, and so... Well, it's, it's on a podcast. Well, yeah. okay. On the yeah. national news. National well, we ain't going to fire you over that. Joke. Thanks, thanks, thanks. But it would have been called Safe by the Bizzle. Yeah. But yeah, school, man. Yeah. You guys, like, I went to a lot of schools. I could imagine special schools, real, like helmets. Well, real quick, it was uh, <laughs> York Avenue, Oak Park, Marshall Street, uh, Plym- uh, Plymouth Meeting School. I forget what they call like the uh, school district there, but I went to oh uh, White Plymouth Marsh. White no Plymouth Elementary or something like that or one, okay. Colonial Colonial Elementary North Town State Hospital Colonial. Uh, <laughs> then I I went uh, Colonial Middle School. Stewart Middle School, East Norton Middle School, then Stewart Middle School. Jesus Christ, what were you, the military? Then I went to Norristown High, then North Penn, then Roosevelt, and then I went to three different colleges. And then Dickie Pen- was Jesus in the Navy, Christ. stationed at Barbados <laughs> Island. <laughs> so I went to we a lot of, all over the county. I went, I went to a lot of schools, man. And I was like, so. I had a lot. I did a lot of crummy shit myself, too. but I felt like. Never go to two schools one year. Yeah. Wow. Are you kidding? He probably went to three schools in one year. <laughs> with that I, went, record. I I I, I did not every elementary school. <laughs> I did not want to go to East Norton Middle School, so I did my best to get go to Stewart. That's where my cousins went back in the day. I had no reason to go to East Norton. I was, it just felt I just were not. It was not my people. Yeah. Right. 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 In high school, y'all meet up anyway. Right. But I'd rather go to Stewart because I knew everybody in Stewart. I didn't right. know anybody in East Norton. Didn't want to know anybody. No offense. Now, <laughs> sorry, I just <laughs> didn't want to. I was not my. I didn't know anybody. Right. Fucking middle school snob. Yeah. But uh, the problem was I lived. I lived on like, and I know this is a regional thing. Once again, if you don't know what I'm talking about, but I lived on Hilltop. And had to walk to Stewart. And a lot of times, like, it was a rough time. I could imagine. <laughs> Especially wearing, like, my Metallica shirts. And- <laughs> <laughs> Lucky we ain't beat you up when you crossed over, Markley. <laughs> Take your ass across. I know. Across Markley. Wearing but, Metallica like, shirts and being cut- a punk-ass bitch. Uh, bullshit. <laughs> nah, Chris is not. I got, I got jumped. Plenty of times though. What am I gonna do? I nah, you man. Know, but uh, some one of the, the one, Gotwall kids jumped you. No, nah, it was uh, <laughs> actually no. I got a I got a crazy story about that. But like, I had to like, a couple times I had to like go into my school bag. I ain't got nothing in there, but I reach in like this real quick. Oh, good move. And that's when people I all got shit in there, but I'm, yeah. I reach in real quick. I'm like they. 
well, it worked the first time. I know. <laughs> <laughs> what about the second? <laughs> yeah, the right. Second Thunder League. Show me your gun shot. Oh, 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 skateboard. But no, real quick, walk like walking uh, down and uh, behind Paul. What is that? No, what's? The, yeah, I guess Paul Fly, the one down uh, by. Uh, Paul Fly's on like Pot Shop Road. No, no, yeah. then the other one on Arch Road, Arch Street. That's yeah, Hancock. Hancock. Dude was uh we were walking through there and some dude came up with a ball peen hammer. What? <laughs> and tried to demand my Jordans. Nice. What? And I was like, dude, I'm not giving him my Jordans. He was like, I was like, you need some money. Or Which something? ones were there? They were the they were black, red, and white. It was oh, yeah. back in like Yeah, yeah. 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 So are all Jordans. You left with them? <laughs> yeah, I left with them. Yeah, you left because them. Because I said to They're him, I'm probably like, like the fives or something. They was gonna shoot you. <laughs> and he was like, "Okay, that's all." He's he like, he, "I was like, what do you need? Some money or something?" He's, I'm like, "Yo, wait right here, and I'm gonna go home and get you, get you some something nice. How about that? I hope he's still fucking waiting, man. <laughs> piece of shit." But he was so stupid. I'm like, "What are you gonna do with a hammer? You're gonna hit me with a hammer?" Yeah, that's what he's gonna do. What <laughs> well, what are you? Yeah. I don't. I didn't feel like you could really do nothing with a hammer. You get one good Shit. swing. Yeah, you get that in the you skull. You get one good swing, though. You land that in the skull. If you don't, if you don't, if you swing and you don't hit me, I. That's if you, you don't get, get it. You don't get multiple yeah. swings. Get it's it. got to be a skull shot. If it's not a skull shot, then right. you're gonna you can still get up. And, and I feel like yeah. he was smart enough, so I was not worried about it. But it was shocking to see somebody in the middle of a field waiting for me to give <laughs> get my. He sneakers. scoped you out, waiting for you. I was not giving my sneakers. See, that's how you know Michael Jordan's better than LeBron. <laughs> never seen nobody try to kill nobody yeah. over some LeBron. Yeah, right. But uh, but yeah, when we were little motherfuckers. Died over Jordans, bro. Like no bullshit in some of them cities, <laughs> no doubt. But uh, let's start. Let's go back to the poll. I'll get back. You know, a couple of my quips. get back to your poll. Yeah, let's do it. <clears throat> Everybody's always excited. So, uh, Big Mama K, Pimp, Pimp Mama, Mama, Mama K, Pimp Mama K, shout out, Pimp Mama K. Because my cr- my poll this week was uh. Getting back to the crumb side, we had some cheesesteak and pizza stuff going on. Now we're going to be talking about crummy school stories, crummy teachers, things that happened, bad, just anything that revolved around school that was like crumb like. Didn't happen to happen to you. But uh, here we go. Started off with Pimp Mama K in 10th grade. My math teacher asked if the scr- scratch on my arm was a track mark in front of the whole class. And Pin Mom K still dislikes that crumb bitch to this day, she says. In fifth grade? high school. Oh, high school. I thought yeah. you said fifth grade. Well, I had that shit. Like, <laughs> well, this dude, a, this dude, you live in a tough uh, neighborhood, Dave. And when I went to North Penn, this teacher put a, went to the science lab and grabbed a syringe, one of them big syringes, mm. put it under my desk, had this other teacher come in and make this big joke presentation. He pulled the thing out and started calling me a doper and all this extra shit because he, I, I smoked weed. And I guess he smoked weed and he, and he had this like, uh, and he's like, look, he's a doper. He, I found this under his desk and he made this big, and it was all big joke and on me. Ha ha. But, uh, what a piece of shit. Yeah, it was a, a piece of shit thing, man. Well, yeah, I mean, well, back to Pimp Mama K's yeah, thing. Pink Mama K. Pimp. Like, to ask a teenager right. if they're track marks. Yeah. I mean, I can see today that. Yeah, that was 20 years ago. Yeah. That was actually. Well, maybe not 20 years 30 ago. Years well, maybe ago. 20 years ago. 30 years yeah, maybe ago. Th- wow, was it? Yeah. Shit, I keep forgetting how old we are. But still, that shit wasn't that predominant back back then. Right. Not at all. No, you know no not I mean? at all. No, it was just weed. You know yeah. Right? So that's fucked up for a teacher. That is a crummy ass fucking teacher. And it's even teacher. more fucked up in front of everybody at that. Yeah, yeah. I didn't even pull think of that kid part. aside, have the guidance counselor say something if you're, you feel that strong about it. Yeah, if you're generally worried, but yeah, you don't fucking shit because uh, that could start like some nasty rumors. You know what I mean? Yeah, right. yeah, Ugh. yeah. It's definitely true, and that's fucked up because I uh, tell my kids like, stop being assholes to teachers because I was. I was an asshole student, right? right? Smart ass type shit. But you're not thinking that these ladies. My my wife has teachers, uh, and I, they're actually my friends. I say her friends, but they're her friends. But they're teachers, right? 
So you're just hanging out with them, and they're talking about shit that happens in school with asshole kids. And you're like, man, I was an asshole student. Yeah. Not thinking. You're still an yeah. asshole. Yeah, but, yeah, 100%. Yeah. yeah. That back then, I was just a student. Right. Yeah. Now you're just an asshole. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, I'm like, man, they're really fat. Wasn't thinking these people are, they're just people. Right. right? It's a mom, a wife, mother, all that shit. And I'm at school. Then she got to go to work and deal with asshole deal kids. Deal with asshole kids. You know? Yeah, I couldn't do that job. But this lady here that said that shit, she's a real piece of shit. Yeah, she's a fucking crumb. Yeah. She's, yeah. That's fucked up. She's a low crumb. Well, like, all jokes aside, and it, like, you know, like, guys joke about, like, all these, the phenomenon of these teachers sleeping with students. Like, yeah. I'm talking yeah. about female. I mean, obviously, you, uh, un it, oddly enough, it's, like, not as strange to hear a guy doing it to a girl. But when you hear these, like, women, women teachers, like, grabbing these kids, like, yeah, what the, f what, because you got to think, it's not. There's something mentally wrong it's, with your pet. It's still pedophilia, right. as you know, like people try yeah. to be funny about it, but it's still sick. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? You're like, gr these still are children. Like, you're it, most of them are attractive too. Like, you could probably find a guy, right? But That's you why chose you to like go after a kid. Yeah, what, what, that those are the crumbs that I can't stand. But obviously, that's a mental issue. Obviously. It's something mentally wrong with these people, right? Yeah. Because they were still pedophiles. Right. Male, female, it don't really matter. But that shit is crummy, too. I feel like the courts go lighter on the broads for some reason when that. They don't seem like they get the hard sentence like the dudes do. Mm -hmm. I don't know about that. Well, it seems like they're all still out there. The one chick that was banging the 13-year-old years ago, she he was 13, she was in her 30s, she was married. They're married They're married today and have kids. Like, she left her husband after she did her time. Mm. Now they have kids and a family and shit. yeah. yeah. Fucking crazy. Oh, I mean, it's just weird and it's not cool. That's all extra credit there. Yeah. Because <laughs> we, I'm sure we all know, like, I don't, you know, we don't, not per, maybe not personally, all know of some kind of stuff that happened between a teacher and a student. I mean, the shit happens. Yeah. But anyway. I think we know some people who did that. Possibly. Yeah. Yeah. Or somebody, that's yeah. Related, somebody that was related to people <laughs> that it happened to. So, Brian James Platchek. Bees. This bully made me get rid of his lunch tray every day for like two weeks. One day I got fed up and said, no, motherfucker. And he broke down in tears. Wow. Uh, how about that? Bees sticking bees. up for themselves. Yeah, but Brian now you James feel bad because he cried. Yeah, no, you don't, home, you don't feel nah, bad. Fuck that dude. Yeah, you don't feel dude. bad. Should have hit him with the lunch tray. Yeah. That's where I thought it was going, prison style. Yeah. Next time, bees. Yeah. Next time. <laughs> because you can't accept that. Yeah, but good for you know, good for young bees standing up for himself there. Yeah. Yeah, but like that's another thing. Bullies in school. Like there's yeah. there's been a there's been a, there's been a you know, yeah, it's a, yeah, you know how it goes, man. If I ever bullied you in school, <laughs> I don't apologize. You probably deserve that. Right. Shit. I I have been on both ends of the stick there, I guess you would say. But yeah, you can't let a guy bully you in school putting your lunch away every day. Yeah. That's how it starts. Next yeah. thing you know, you're holding a guy's pocket on the way to feel recess. Bad about a few of God them. damn it. <laughs> I was saying something. Put you a fucking doormat, you step all over him. <laughs> Fucking bully. I never understood. <laughs> but, you, know, you think about bullies. That How's they're, it going? They're assholes and all, right? But what's going on in their home life that, that makes them a bully? That's what you got to think about. Yeah, you know I mean? that's true. You don't, when you're a fucking kid getting, you when don't think a, about that shit. You're not like sitting there. You're, you're thinking, let me grab the biggest, yeah. the heaviest thing and crack this motherfucker Yeah, over as the, the kid that's getting bullied. I'm talking about the actual bully, though. When you're on the like, opposite end, Like, he might be home end, getting though. diddled by his dad or something. You know what I mean? Like, you don't know what's going well, on. Well, when you're on thinking. the opposite end, you're, it's not your job to. Yeah, that's true. You get yeah. a fucking front train, you crack him over his fucking head. I'll tell you a good bullying story. A friend of mine's a brother who was a friend of mine. No idea where he's at right now, but at the high, these kids were fucking with him. He was quiet, chill, didn't say nothing. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow. Went home, cut a baseball bat in half, put it in his school bag, went in class the next day, put his school bag on his chair, unzipped his book bag, took the half a bat out, and beat the shit out of three dudes. Not bad. He got an A for that. I was wondering why he cut the 
bat yeah but that's so he can fit in the school bag mm-hmm. pretty smart yeah man wicked yeah. smart all right this one dude was messing with me he was this big dude like he but he wasn't all he wasn't all there right but he kept messing with me and i turned around and i cracked him right and uh and he was shocked i don't think i heard him too much but he was like <laughs> whoa he was not expecting me to to hit him and then the i guess it got broken up but the next morning i'm wait. there's these doors at the high you wait in to go in through the cafeteria and then go wherever you got to go all right i feel a tap on my shoulder i didn't think nothing of i turned around it was that dude he cracked you <laughs> Man, uh-huh. hit me, punched me square in the face, and then we were cool right through that. Uh, nice. Yeah. Me and him did a fake fight in Roosevelt Hallway. Yeah, we were fast <laughs> that. We, yeah. we looked like professional stuntmen when we used to do it. They were really good. Didn't the cops come in the laundromat one time on Airy Street? They yeah. thought we were really well fighting? Yeah. Well, dude upstairs Great. called the cops on us. But getting punched sucks, dude. I got knocked out one time on my 21st birthday, dude. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry about that, dude. <laughs> I didn't mean it. That sucked, dude. You're running that mouth, though. You're going to catch these hands, son. I've never been knocked out. Thank God for Eddie. I woke up. Eddie mm-hmm. was beating the shit out of that dude, yo. He gave him, like, the fucking 13 piece. Where were he's at? Uh, Dorenzo's. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, we were just talking about that yeah. night. I only got knocked out one time, and that was by a sign. It was, <laughs> it was down on that the, don't surprise at the, me. At the end of Hamilton Street, there was apartments, and they had one of these signs with the wooden. It swung. And we were run, playing hide and seek or, or tag or something. I <laughs> Nothing was even cool. I was yeah. We were we were running from guns or what, what do you want me to fucking say? Mm-hmm. We were, it was a, I was a kid. So anyway, I was running and I was turning this way. I tur- as I turned this way, the sign was right there. Boom! Hit that thing. Just just floated to the ground. Bam. Anyway, back to the <laughs> yeah. Go back to your jump back on your pole. Yeah, you jump up back on my pole. <sighs> Dylan Eichelberger, the great Dylan Eichelberger. Dylan. Open micer. Um, two pedophiles were arrested from my high school, both female. Ooh. I guess, but I don't know if teachers that was during school or after they left his high school. But who cares? Teachers? No, I don't. Didn't say teachers. Also, a kid who wasn't good at much, but could shoot anything with precise accuracy with a spitball from thirty yards. That's pretty good. That's him, Dylan. Yeah, do that. 30 yards. I guess, he, that, he's, he's estimating there. 30 yards is 90 feet. He said where he no. didn't. Where we're he bringing went. a straw and some fucking. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Next, uh, next yeah. Tuesday, Dylan, we're bringing, or two Tuesdays from now, whatever. Uh, he said if a, at his school, if a kid didn't have lunch money, they would just get him some bread and cheese and say, when well, they wouldn't yeah. let him go start, but they wouldn't let him start. Where was he at, Gratersford? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Pots town. Pots town. Pots town. <laughs> uh, Shannon Powell, our friend Shannon. Shout out Shannon. Shannon. Shout Chain out. gang. Chain gang, yeah, man. <laughs> this is a sad one, you know, of course, but uh, it's not all it's not all laughter in the crumb show. I was being terrorized by a student in high school, and when a friend stepped in to help, the boy who was bashing me turned into my boyfriend. What? Wait, say that again? Sounds hot when you say <laughs> it like that. I think I know who she's talking about. I was being terrorized <laughs> by a student in high school. And when a friend stepped in to help, the boy who was bashing me turned into my boyfriend. The vice principal war- wanted me to attend Saturday school with the asshole. And my mom said, absolutely not. I never did go. Okay. Wait. Who was wait? Say that again. Friend, I'm off. <laughs> she was getting bullied. Bye. And then somebody wind up coming in the rescuer and wind up being her boyfriend. Right. The hero. The hero. Turned into her boyfriend. Yeah. yeah. Gotcha. I thought I thought she got beat up, but okay. And gotcha. then liked it and wanted to be boyfriend and girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, you fucking weirdo. <laughs> okay. Chris Iorio. Chris. Chris. Shout out, buddy. Uh, he said, you know, as everybody could, everybody, because we're old, we all been through schooling at different places, Norristown, unfortunately, for most of us. We could write a book on this topic with all the shit we've done and seen, but the crummiest thing I ever did was lit a girl's hair on fire. She was sitting <laughs> in front of me, and I put a lighter to her hair. Nothing cool about that. <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, nothing cool about that. I'm sure we did a lot. 
we regret looking back. Also, I can't remember her name, but the teacher at Eisenhower hit a liquor flask on her desk and swigged the shit during yeah. lunch. But let me tell you something. That's not just at that school. No. Like no. every school, there was at, like three teachers that did that at Eisenhower. There, there was there's a th there was like a little posse at Stewart that had that I know that, of. that they had yeah. there <laughs> because uh, somebody I know. I think because this teacher was there when I was there at Stewart, and my brother had this teacher also, and uh, they everybody knew this teacher had liquor in her desk, and she would put it in her coffee. Well, when she wasn't looking, they like filled her whole cup up with the with some, and she dr drank that, and they you know, stumbled around the whole time. They didn't. They gave no fucks. Her there was an art teacher, total crumb. Uh, art teachers were high total as shit, dude. Total crumb though. Yelled like just she gave me the finger. Gave me the finger. And when I give her the finger back, I'm the crumb. She's all drunk, give me your finger. <laughs> Fuck you. I get yelled at. Yeah. I got in trouble yeah. for that so much in school. Speaking of that, being an art teacher, right? Like, how easy is that, dude? You give a kid a piece of paper and a pencil and some paint. Like, what's I don't, what's yeah. the skill in being well, an art also, teacher? Like, it's probably it, fun besides kids being assholes. Yeah, but in college, right? My cousin Steve took a course right and the teacher the, they pay money in college to take these fucking courses you want to learn how to paint they give you a fucking you know you you have to buy all the shit in college you know you don't get yeah. no pencils and pens you buy everything yourself so he's got all this paint and this fucking thing and she's just like paint what you see <laughs> like well how do you do it three thousand dollars to buy all the shit you just get paint painted what, home just yeah. paint what you see like can you tell me how like techniques and i guess there was like very basic techniques but like that's the art teacher for you just, just paint what you see <laughs> the fuck yeah what if you don't see anything All right and then like and even in uh, my brother i think told me he got in trouble because he he couldn't draw but she was, but he had to draw. But you can't, if you can't fucking draw, you can't draw. He did his best, and she, he still got a, a bad mark because she didn't believe that he couldn't draw. Right. She saw the inner artist in him. <sighs> right. Yeah, that's all the teachers because we had to take it too. Remember one time I made a bag of dicks. Remember that? <laughs> <laughs> a whole bag of dicks. A bowl of balls. Yeah. The worst thing I think I was picking on this girl on the bus. And I was making fun, right. but she sprayed me on the leg. She sprayed mace on the bus, but it hit me in the leg. Oh. But it's still sprayed in the air. So yeah, the whole <laughs> surrounding area. I was dumbass. I, I, I mean, she. I don't care. She still deserved whatever I said. I remember I made us all go on a field trip at Roosevelt, and I'm not going to say her name, but. <laughs> Some chick was flicking matches. I remember. Landed uh, on dude. the back of your jacket. Oh, <laughs> Set me on fire, dude. <laughs> he had a flannel. I turned around. Flannel. I was like, if I didn't know your brother. <laughs> yeah. <that's> <laughs> some He'd guy. come kick my ass. Yeah. Yeah. Shit Her brother hilarious. was a well-known dude in Norristown. <laughs> Somebody said, uh, I don't know if I, I don't want to name names for certain things, but he said a couple buddies and I may or may not have smoked weed in personal finance class. I don't know what personal finance class was. That must have been like for like normies and school. like people that did. Yeah. yeah, I didn't. We didn't get choices to go to personal finance. We got nah. math. We got yeah. math. I know. We didn't go to Wharton. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Personal Who was fucking that finance. Steve, Big fancy school. Steven Turner. I don't know. Steve. 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 Oh, you Steve. guys know Steve? No. no. Okay. <laughs> well. But in, that might, might be, but maybe a college class. Though. In Norristown, we you know a lot of the kids that were with me in, well, we in did shop a business class. class in Roosevelt. Yeah, but I'm um, in in uh, shop class in Norristown High. A lot there's people that we smoked a little weed in there only because there was this gigantic vent fan. You turn that thing on and you could just smoke a bowl right under there. And we're just fucking anything and everything. We're just You're blowing. a real crumb bum. <laughs> I didn't do it. You did I say like I did junkies, that? Though. I saw people do that. I told them, hey, you shouldn't be doing that. I smoked so much <laughs> before we went. I was good pretty much all day. How about it? <laughs> well, the teachers kept, I kept going out and smoking a cigarette every time I left the shop class. And I'll get back to the shop class a couple yeah. times here. And he would, ca he would catch me. And finally, and he would take, or he would, he would like, give me your cigarettes and lighter before you leave. I'm like, okay. 
but I would put one cigarette and a pack of matches in my pocket and give him my cigarettes and later. And then after a while, I was like, just give me, can I just get one? Can I get one from you? Because you're fucking stressing me. <laughs> I gave him one. We both had a smoke. When he Man. got his jacket lit on fire, we were on a field trip walking to Al's Cold Cuts because I needed cigarettes. Yeah. That's awesome. So I made the teacher take us on a class trip. Right through the woods, right through the tracks, <laughs> right through the cold cuts. But no, we're closer. Couldn't just walk through the in and out. <laughs> yeah, but we're going on a field trip, Jesse. Oh, yeah. Nature trip, too. You can stay out of school longer. Uh, uh, yeah, when you need school. We're not nerds. I mean, this is off the subject. I was a good student. I wanted to be in school and yeah. studying and shit. I had better food than in and out there. Yeah, of course. They had hoagies there. Right. That, that's one of the other owners, too, the good owners. Uh, oh, yeah. Speaking of our illustrious high school roosevelt shout out velt and all of our oh. former alumni out there running the world nowadays but That's right uh we used to get lunch somebody that was leaving for a co-op we would order or they would, i don't know how we would get it but somebody would take the order and then we would end up getting food from i think it was jules and uh you couldn't come. They couldn't come back into school with a big ass bag full of food, so they would go park in the parking lot and then come around to the back door when you have to go downstairs on the football side. Yeah, on the, yeah. where the football field's yeah. at, and then we get the bag and we would lower a little string out of the graphic arts room down the window, and I would pull that shit up. I did it for like two. Jeez. We did it for like two or three weeks. Then I got caught at lunch with like a big ass cheesesteak and French fries <laughs> and shit. And then they were like, we thought something was happening. And then we had to stop. Dude, double track. cheeseburger from Jules is no joke. Yeah, you man. get two burgers. Yo, man. When you that was uh, my grandpa's sister. Yeah. The original owners? My yeah. dad's aunt, Aunt Jewel. Crazy, like off the subject, real like uh craziest thing when somebody needed something uh, that happened to me was I was taking the SEPTA bus to Lansdale. And uh, it goes down and then down this one road, North uh, North Wales Road, and then it goes through the mall, comes back down, and goes and lands out where there was a 7-Eleven, and the, the driver was like, yeah, do me, he was like, can you get off here, get me some smokes, <laughs> and I'll pick you back up on the way? What? I was like, okay. Cause I, cause you did I, it? Yeah. He was like, because, oh, yo. He, what a fucking bingy. Like, what would you do that for? <laughs> yeah. Now you're going to be late forever you're going. No, because he went up, turned, he would. He went that up. That was his hit, like, See, anyway. was the 7-Eleven right here, right? He went up, swung around. Oh, I thought he down, meant catch him back on his way back. No, 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 like catch oh, him back okay. on the way. So I did that for him. Because, nah. Yo, he needed smokes. Chris is a good dude, man. Chris is the type of guy <laughs> that'll go get two blowjobs and come back and give you one. <laughs> hey -oh. Jokes, folks. Yeah. All right, back to your pole there, buddy. Yep. <clears throat> All right, Blake Sayers. Blake was is a guy that does the open mics, and um, you know, oh, yeah? Bro, yeah. okay, Blake. The, Shout out, Blake. He was, he's like a the, he's like shorter. Always looks like super high, but he's not. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I know who you mean. All right, in tenth grade, him and his buddies used to mess with his history teacher to the absolute limits. He <laughs> would push back equally, and eventually, we needed to take it to the next level. We kept guessing his wife's name <clears throat> so we could draw we could draw them kissing as stick figures on the chalkboard <laughs> while he was away. Every guess was a wash. He would not break, even if we maybe we guessed right. My dad worked for the post office and between him and the phone book we finally found out his wife's name and drew a horrible chalk drawing of him and her kissing on the chalkboard with their real names. L O L <laughs> <laughs> The second he walked in he got beat red and gave us all in-school suspension. Ha ha. So low, I admit it, but it was hilarious as it played out. I mean, that is low, but you know what? It's not that big. Right. Yeah. You didn't I mean, like that really it was house. Story, like, yeah. Like the strangers or something. Like, her, like the teacher like came in and terrorized the house or something. You, you drew a crummy picture, which is funny. It's not It's not bad, though. It's not, it's not too crummy. Right. Here's a you know here's a cath up oh, we got a, some Catholic school crumbs uh -oh. but it ain't what you think. There was no kid touching, but in the way you think. This one time at Pan <clears throat> I went to Catholic school, but Mary friend 
my friend Mary Friend. I don't know if Mary, you guys know Mary. No Mary. Mary, Mary. She's wow, a shit. She's a, <laughs> I've known Mary for a long time. I went to Catholic school. If we didn't have our socks pulled up, we would get the merits. You got the merits for everything. After so many of them, you would get the tension. Third grade math, my friend went up to the board to answer a problem and got it wrong. Sister went up, grabbed her by the back of the head, and proceeded to slam her head into the board a couple times. Jesus Christ. I'm not that old. That wasn't a thing anymore. They weren't allowed to touch us. Quiet, scared of everything. Little me scream little yeah, little me screamed like I was the one she was hitting. I had to be permanently removed from class because I was terrified of the woman. A few years after that I was out of that school, a girl was pulled into the boys' room and held there until kids told the teachers. The girl who was held there against her will was in trouble for being in there because she she shouldn't have allowed the group of kids to put her in there. I could go on and on, but I would stop. But I'll stop there. Basically, that's fucked up. Like she got some dude or chick grabbed her, put her in the bathroom, forced her to stay in there, and but she shouldn't have known. Teacher, that. I don't know if it was a teacher. It looked like it was kids. It doesn't kid. matter. How old is this broad? She she's uh, a little younger, maybe Jerry's age. A little younger than It's still back in the day it was kinda of normal for teachers. No, it was not normal. No, it's not normal, but they could get away with it back then. Just the next couple of just just read the stories. Gotcha. What do you mean? Don't say their names, just read the oh, stories. Oh, I got you. Uh I got my history teacher. Oh, I got caught I caught my history teacher fucking his T A. I blackmailed him and got all A's for the first time I was in his class. It doesn't matter. I don't know her. My, uh, but I will say my brother, Alan Knox, a.k.a. Dave Roach, a.k.a. Alan Knox. I used to put items in teachers' coffee, spit, tiny objects, and stuff. <laughs> now I'm not proud of or deserved it. But it's funny. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Why did you? I said don't say nobody's names. Okay, so not only did you say the name, you said the alias <laughs> of the name. Like, I we, we, we said why it. would you do that? But why would we stop after I said all those other names? Because these last two are kind of like yeah. shouldn't be you poisoned the yeah. teacher. Yeah, like you kind of shouldn't say, to say their name. That's why I never do Christ. no dirt around you. Yeah, like don't ever rob a don't bank, rob with, Chris, bank folks. with Chris. <laughs> They'll sell you up the river in a heartbeat. Jeez, no, I would, that's, that's not what I'm saying. I would not do That's not the same thing. You just ratted your brother out to millions of people. Right. Oh, mil yeah, to millions and millions. The Mrs. Shut the fuck Brown had a wooden titty at Stewart. <laughs> Goddamn right. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, so go ahead. Okay. Finish your story. <laughs> okay, so anyway. Everybody that, do this. <laughs> that guy, no so anyway. <laughs> yeah, he put his name he, his name is on <laughs> clearly on social media. What's the difference? He put Alan Knox and you said, Yeah, hey, my brother and then you said his real name. You'll be one of the sisters in jail. <laughs> 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 Matter of fact, up in the studio, you make sure you sit down to piss, motherfucker. <laughs> Hold my pocket. <laughs> Listen, he did, I have eat, to take he this. did eat the cookies that were left <laughs> on the table. Uh, I didn't know Jerry no, left I cookies didn't there. The fucking cookies. I, didn't know. <laughs> I didn't know Jerry left you cookies. No. I know what that shit means. Yeah, I know what that means either. I ain't touched <laughs> it. Oh, so anyway, let's get back to the quote <laughs> real quick. Yeah. Fucking eyes are too. Oh, uh, the nun that, uh, the nun that beat kid. Uh, 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 let's see. We have, um, <laughs> Great uh, story. Somebody, <laughs> yeah, somebody, but I think that was a. I think that was somebody that was replying. To yeah, the their responses. Uh, I don't need to do that. It was about nuns, and uh, my mom went to Catholic school, and she used to tell us all kind of crazy stories about yeah. nuns. But my mom took was learning the piano. And the nun would be sitting, like, close enough to her, but not, like, sitting watching her or nothing. She'd be, like, looking at a book or probably doing the rosary or some gay shit like that. And if my mom would fuck up, right, Whack. bang, with yeah. stick. With a roller. My mom would tell me stories like that. I mean, even my grandma would tell me even worse stories than that. Yeah. Like, yeah. There was that show, 1923, that came on, this Yellowstone spinoff. Mm -hmm. And they sent one of the, like, back then they would take the, Indian girls and put them in 
like Catholic girl schools. Oh, uh, yeah. And the one was just beating the shit out of one on her hands all the time, the roller, and then she wind up killing her. Right. Yeah. yeah. Show you need to Fucking go watch. Catholics it. back in the day got away with murder. Dude. Yeah. Well, this, no, this she killed the nun. Oh. Yeah. This dude that uh, my mom went to elementary school with him, and then you know you fast forward thirty years later, he was friends with my dad, and uh, you know he was around here and there. You'd always hear stories about these guys, you know, because they were all fucking crazy. Half of them, anyway. So you'd hear all these crazy stories. And this dude went to school, elementary school with my mom, and he was probably bad as shit in school, so he's probably getting the ruler a lot, you know what I mean? And probably worse. You know, the rulers that we hear about, but they were doing worse shit. Battles probably. And all, that, yeah. Like worse. Like, the oh. motherfuckers were fucking, like, they literally got biblical with shit. Like, yeah. You know what I mean? Like shit you ain't even thinking about, but it's like, damn, that's really horrible. But anyway... This nun used to beat the shit out of him. She left the room one day. He pushed a desk over behind the door. When she opened the door, he jumped on her back and was just punching her in the face. Had her in a headlock. Was Jesus just punching her in the face. Yeah. He's probably an old broad, too. Yeah. Fast forward 35 years later, found him dead under the... Under the uh, a nun killed him? Crawford Park. You know where the archway's at? Yeah. Crawford Park. Yeah. Dead, Marky. Yeah. Dead. OD? That's my shot. Yeah. He was living that life, son. Yeah, well. Live by the gun, you die by the gun. Live by the nun, die by the nun. Somebody else hung themselves down there, too. In that yeah, archway? They did. Yeah, they that did. archway is just spooky looking at it, dude. At night, yeah. yeah. Even in the daytime, it just looks like fucking. What are you know. doing down there in the daytime? Is that where you guys are meeting these days? Popping yeah, we used to go down there in the daytime. Don't act like we didn't. I know, I'm just kidding. Yeah. Just trying to make you seem like <laughs> homosexual. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, not that there's nothing wrong with it, folks. Nah, nah, not at all. But anyway, yeah, that's uh, that it for your poll. I'm pretty sure that's it. Like you know, obviously we, you can make go on and on about crummy school things. Yeah. But, uh, but that as but I think we we spent a good little chunk of time. Yeah, we there. did. Yeah, Fats yeah. had yeah. some other crummy shit he wanted to. You no, know, let's talk, talk about, about Fats's crumb well, shit. Fats's shit isn't crummy shit. It's just like, yeah. let's say, no, it's crummy shit. All right, blow us. I mean, blow our mind. <laughs> and uh, well, I want I want to keep going with last week's topic, but I'm going to change the topic because we'll get back to last week's topic because okay. I'm not done yet. Okay. Oh uh, well. We're, we're, before I say something, before you, I'm sorry. One thing. Jesus uh, Christ! Uh, Can I just get it out? Bur- yeah, bur- you'll you'll talk enough. Trust me. Okay. What's that mean? Don't worry about it. Berm, big, big berm, big berm. Put a video up. On I and I oh, yeah, put yeah. thing and he's like propaganda. Sure you guys, watch this and it was about the uh, propaganda. Dip. How the pyramids of Egypt were really. We'll built. get back into that next. So check week. check that out. But I got a rebuttal for you, our, bro. Uh, I got a rebuttal. For check him. that out on our Facebook page, uh, the Crumb Show Pod. It's Crumb Show Pod, Crumb Show Pod. Yeah, but I got I got to I can I can top that next week. I'm sure you could. But we're not talking about that. We're not talking about I this week. Throw that out there. This week we're talking about Colts, Colts, and the other night I was watching. Uh, me and Yolay were watching uh, the about Waco, Texas documentary. It's a great documentary. Only. Even though we lived through it, we remember we were like teenagers then. We haven't, but like that was fucked up, dude. And I'm thinking, like, you know, these guys fucked up hell, though. On who's that? Well, there's David Koresh, there's Jim Jones. There's, right, I know, but you know, you said Waco, Waco, Waco specifically. Well, he first of all, how do you tell somebody that you're fucking the next coming, you're the next Messiah, <laughs> and then the people believe you? How do you tell somebody like you're Jesus Christ, basically? And then these people are like, oh wow, I believe. Then. Right, so you know, you get this group of following, right? People, you're staying in their fucking compound that they got with no running, no running water. I mean, it's hell living at this place. It's not even nice, right? It's just big. Then, say you you and your wife go there, right? You can't have sex with your wife no more. He tells you this. I can have sex with your wife, but you can't have sex with your <laughs> wife. And these dudes are like, cool. Let's come. Let's bring our kids in there. Can I watch? And he, he's grooming <laughs> these least. kids. He's, you know, he's he's diddling kids, and these people are following him. I mean, there's a lot of fucking people in there, dude. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, no, well, I don't. Yeah, that these people obviously were sick because, like, nope, I'm not letting nobody. Do yeah, but think of how many people were in there. 
But that's not the only cult. Like Jim Jones, 900 people committed suicide because they believed what the fuck he had to say. That he was like the next Messiah. Well, he shot a lot of them up, too. But still. The ones they that still, didn't drink this shit. Yeah, like he, he, that cult you couldn't leave. It was like 300 fucking kids, too. Yeah, 300 yeah. kids. Even fucking Koresh, he let 22 out. I think still 40-some kids died in there. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah. And they, they, they say a, a fire happened. They don't know how it happened in the Waco, Texas. It was in three different spots of that compound. All of a sudden, the fire happened. All they had once. it set up to do that. Yeah, because the, the feds fucked up. They, 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 were, they had it all planned to surprise visit. The fucking news reporter got lost on the way to cover the story. He mm-hmm. stops the fucking mailman to ask for directions. Right. The mailman was part of the fucking cult. No shit. Yeah, so he turns around, hauls ass back. Like, they're coming, dude. They're coming. Uh, they're on high ground. They got a fucking, they got a 50 caliber fucking Barrett, fucking 50 caliber. They're waiting for the feds to come. Right, right. The feds are trying to take perimeter. They got the high ground. Rush that fucking place. There's kids in there, dude. They're sitting there waiting. Not a fucking gunfire happens. They lose four feds immediately. But now it wasn't like standoff. a hostage situation the whole It was like time. over a month-long standoff. I know at that time when the cops started breaching the place, but before that, it ain't like you're coming here and you can't leave everybody's hell's hostage or I'll fucking kill you. Yeah, they didn't want to leave. It's a mass kidnap. Right. The people in there wanted so they to be there. just left them the fuck alone. Yeah, but I just felt bad for the kids. Look, if you give me a thousand acres of land... And all of us, and, you know, we'll say 10 other people, and then you add in all our families there, we're going to be considered some fucking cult, too. Yeah, but I think he was doing some uh, creepy shit. Whatever, I'm sure there yeah, was. Yeah, he was doing creepy. He was, back, yeah. he was having sex with kids. And yeah, shit. yeah, yeah, yeah no, you yeah. can't leave that alone. Yeah. Well, these people... No shit. These people's family want to talk to them, and then they either they don't talk to them, or when they do talk to them, they sound brainwashed. And then the, peop- the family want to get the law involved. Yeah, like were welfare all check weirdos type shit. on drugs and yeah. bought in all types of shit. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They're messed, messed up people, right? Well, they're weak minded. Yeah, weak minded. You got to be weak minded really, already. Well, thought, they pretty much thought he was selling guns and shit, right? Yeah, he had a lot of guns. He had over a million rounds. I mean, he had some heavy shit in there. Right. Dude. Like they, they, they I were, think that's how they. They were ready for the feds. Actually, got dude. turned on from some ATF shit. Yeah, when the feds came there, they were wait, they were ready for him, right. especially that they were tipped off, but they yeah. were ready. He had like had, school buses buried grenades. underground for who? Yeah. Koresh or Koresh. Koresh. Jones? Koresh. Koresh. Yeah. Yeah. Jim Jones is just a nut, dude. Like. Yeah. They, he, when he moved to Ghana, was it Ghana? I, I yeah, don't, yeah. Guyana. He went, he went Guyana. Guyana. He went South to jungles. America. Yeah, right. So this, this uh, reporter went to go there, and he brought some family members there, and then he wouldn't let them leave. He ended up shooting four of them fuckers because he said, you're not leaving. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, you're going to stay. Like, cause he Didn't knew he, like, blow their shit up or something? He shot shot them. And then, with the like, airplane, the reporters came on the airplane, yeah. and some regular pe- some of his people wanted to leave with them. Some of the people were families of the people that yeah. were there. They wanted to, because they heard bad shit going yeah. on there. Was there like was there politicians on that plane? It was just yeah. reporters, congressmen, and a reporter. I don't think there's con- was there. Pol- I thought I it was just families and the reporter. I'm not sure. I got to read yeah. further. In- Did he blow it up? Or I thought it blew the plane. I know he up. shot and killed. Nah, they four got of them. out of there. The plane got out of there. right? Yeah, uh-huh. but four of them didn't make it on the plane right. because they were hauling ass for the plane. Right. Yeah. Then there's another one. I I don't I can't pronounce his name at all. This guy <laughs> here. Uh, Indian dude. Yeah, no, I don't think he's Indian. Well, the Jim Jones, they all drank the. This cool the guy that, right? that was that, that released the, the, um, the that, that gas in to- in Tokyo on the subways. Oh, uh, okay, yeah yeah, 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 yeah. How do you say his name? Shoko. Shoko Ashara. Ashara. Well, yeah, that's really just some terrorist. Let me see the name shit. of that. That's really yeah, a cult. Like a cult. Yeah, it's a cult. He had a whole cult. He had a oh. huge cult. What, they all get in one train car and gas themselves? No, they went to multiple fucking subways in China, in, uh, in Tokyo. It was a, so it was like a, a cult activated terror yeah. attack type uh, shit. Because uh, something about the Japanese it had to do with the Japanese, but they were from he was from like over here. Well, you know whatever. And then there's another dude. This is the dude you were talking about. Uh, he actually killed a family. The other guy was talking. Oh, uh, Charlie Manson's another one, dude. Yeah. You know? Yeah, but the CIA. Yeah, we know that. Trained him to be. MK Ultra. Yeah. They gave him acid. They but gave they, him training. They said Jim Jones, too, that was part of that they, CIA shit. They, they said, like, people people come right out and say, like, yeah, he was trained by the CIA. Every, they gave him everything he needed to know how to be a cult leader, almost like a manual, like how to be a cult leader. I heard a lot of these cults were set up by the CIA just to see the mind control and all that right. shit. Mm. And it, it makes Good sense, day. man. It makes sense. It's like you control people because how else... 
I just don't understand that. How do you tell somebody that you're Jesus? Like, these Catholic religions, Christian religions, they're waiting for Jesus to come back for how many fucking years now? I don't think he's coming back. I mean, I could be wrong. I don't know. But it's 2023 he, now. When he does, it ain't going to be like, hey, what's up, y'all? I'm Jesus. Yeah, it's going to be like some world <laughs> devastating shit. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, he's not coming back, bro. I mean, I'm not going to say no. I, I don't believe he is, but I'm it's not going to say not, definite no. Not. I mean, I'm not one of the guys like you people who say he's definite not. answers. Right, well, like, they, they, a lot of people to judge have claimed. The living and the dead. A lot of people have claimed to be Jesus. None of them quite nailed it yet. <laughs> hey, oh, that was a good one there. Uh, that was good. I just got that. Dude, years ago, I used to detail cars, right? And this fucking old dude, they said he was crazy, uh, right? He was from Vietnam. But he blew my mind. He, he said people that say they see Jesus and see ghosts or see aliens and shit. Right. Because how do you know that they're not crazy? How do you know that you're not, that they're not the real people that can see that shit and you're just fucked up because you I mean, can't see I mean, everybody thinks that. Like, yeah, like people... After he said that, was he like, yeah, man. <laughs> no, but I was like, whoa. Oh, but, I'm well, sure you uh, were. I, a lot of people are telling <laughs> me, too, like, they, they argue with me because they'll say, too many people have on their deathbed seen the light, and they've gone to the light, and they've seen their loved ones, and they didn't want to come back, and they were peaceful, and they were, I'm like... Yeah, it's called their synapses or whatever, like in their uh, brains. Yeah, yeah. Where you're like a fucking, fucking doctor. Fire Here we go. Fire off. Go. When you die, Doctor Reynolds. When you die, your synopsis is in your. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, I might synopsis. be pronouncing that right. I'm pretty sure when you die, everything synopsis. in your even your synopsis synapsis. dies. Synapsis. 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 Yeah. Synapsis. 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 Is a, <laughs> they, oh, synapsis. How do you know I, I it's not I'm, their loved ones? They, they they start firing off, and you you know your brain over is like. Overworking if, in a no. sense. No, when you die, dying. your brain dies. Yeah, but when you're dying, yes, everything dies. is dying. So when you're not you in, working you're in the process of dying, yes, it still works. No, that don't make sense. That don't what? Make, when you're, you're dying, dead yet? It's like a car dying, right? No, your heart would stop, not your brain. It's like a car's dying, right? Right, and then it dies. It doesn't start working better and firing off different shit to work better. No, it just dies. Just like you, your body. It's, no, that's it's not like an the engine. same thing. Yes, it's, tef- no, it's definitely, definitely the not same. the same. Hundred percent not the same. Your brain a, is a car has a computer battery or I'm saying like it's we have like a brain. that. We're you, like a do, machine. You realize too. how complex your brain is. Your brain is the computer. Well, maybe not your car. maybe not your brain, <laughs> but the brain is a complex thing that we haven't even tapped into all we can do with our. Oh, uh, sure, yeah. We've tapped into everything we can do with for, the fucking car. Yeah, for thirty nine ninety nine a month and yeah. nowhere link, you can access all your brain power. Oh, uh, right. you want to hear some weird shit I just heard I just heard that yeah. I think is true? What? I always wonder like when you have deja vu, what the fuck that is. Not to get off this cold top. This shit blew my fucking mind. They say that It happened it, to you in a parallel universe. No, or? that um it might be j- like what do you call passed on re- passed on from generation? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that memories Heretic. memories might be passed Heretic. on from like like say your dad had a memory, right? Right. And when you see something, that might be a memory from your dad. Oh uh, yeah. What? That fucking that is makes that, sense. Is that good? Do you want a memory of your all your dad's <laughs> memories? Not all. Uh, of them. Do you want a memory of all of your dad's God, memories? No. But I'm saying it makes sense though, doesn't it? Like you go somewhere like I know, but you know you know weren't there. Yeah, I just yeah. see. I read something also about. Uh, Usually, deja vu. It, deja vu means it happened to you before, or you've yeah. seen but it. But they're before. saying that might not be true. It might be having something like one of your parents might have experienced that, and it's passed on through. Yeah, I don't think that's more the case. like. Uh, I'm sure you don't, because I said it. If somebody else said it, but would, oh, it might be uh, true. Yeah. Because I said it, it's not true. It's not it's deja. Like else I say on it's this not podcast. deja vu, though. Okay, buddy. If you have deja vu of this second right now, right. No, how is that possible? We wouldn't, we wouldn't have. It wouldn't be something like this. this is like, you don't know how is it. Right. You got it's selective not, it deja vu it, now. It, it'll yeah. happen like holy shit. No, because it wouldn't happen. For he stuff said, like sele- this. "I heard that before." It, no, we it had this whole <laughs> conversation <laughs> before. Deja vu ninety percent of the time happens when you pass by something or you go somewhere and you're experiencing something. Not when you're doing something. It's all the time. I had it today at work. You, no, Listen, you I heard this is what I heard deja vu is, and me and Chris are going to stand behind it because no, it's I'm science. sure you are. Because you, yeah. what it is is it's your brain having a, a synopsis, right? Synapsis, yes. yeah, some yes. shit like that. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. yeah, some shit like that. <laughs> yeah, your brain just has a little glitch storing a memory. 
where you think it's an but old But if it memory. never happened before. No, this is science, not your bullshit hocus pocus mumbo jumbo. There we go. This is science. It's just a little glitch. Your brain is just a bunch of electrical impulses. Yeah. So there's going to be little glitches, just like on your after, phone. After forty laptops. some years later, you're still having glitches. Motherfucker, your whole life is a glitch. You bitch. Well, this is more like <laughs> this is more like Vuja Day. Mark, yeah, it's true. No, the that's feeling what I'm saying. That it's just none of little... this has ever happened. I don't believe before. that. I maybe, believe you, maybe it's you and another you in a multiverse. That maybe that that makes more sense than you're again. glitching your brain. You believe that more than it could Absolutely. just be a little, oh, hard, a little bump in the wire yeah. in your brain. Yeah, because especially at this stage of our lives, I believe our brain's fully developed by now. I don't know. I really don't believe in that. I don't that know. Kind I feel like you learn something new every week. Well, yeah. That's stuff I'm storing. Yeah, you're welcome. That's new stuff I'm storing. <laughs> you're welcome for learning. Never, new. Yeah, listen, don't waste your time trying to store information. Because I don't waste my time trying to do that shit. I just anything told you, the you other... can look up anything you can look up formulas or things. I just told you a couple weeks don't ago. Don't try that... to remember it because you can use your brain for other things. You can always look up shit. Uh, the other week I told you elephants couldn't jump. Nobody knew that. You're welcome. Well, but, the human brain can stay active for hours after death. Right. That's yeah, but no. How, how does anybody know that? <clears throat> Electrical impulses. Also, that you ever mean you ever see when yeah, people died? They could, yeah, they could still you blink. They could still blink and like do like this. Yeah, I also see dead bodies sit up because you know why? Because there's air still. Even after a head gets cut yeah. off. Yeah, if a head not because gets they're still off, they working. Still blink. It's their nerves twitching. Their yeah. nervous system. I, they, even, they even go. That is gas. They, they mean, cut a head they off. They fart and they got boners. They cut a head off a chicken. It lived for like three weeks or three months. Yeah, because blood still moved. They just kept feeding them. Because the blood's still pulsing through them. No brain or head. But the blood's still for a couple seconds. It doesn't run around for 10 it's minutes. months. Three weeks. No, that's bullshit. That was fake. There's pictures Give of the motherfucker. That's fake. You'll believe that, but you won't believe the shit I tell you. That's, that's <laughs> craziness. That's craziness. Yeah. That's yeah. craziness. Do I believe a picture? And a story that's 50 years old? I can show you old? pictures yeah. of the stuff I saw, too. Right. When what? we leave here, we're just, cutting head off fucking chicken. I just, went, I just went the whole see. documentary last night, everything I said last week. And I got and, 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 and B, my job was like, that, it's impossible. It was built by men, the, the t temples. I yeah. said, I just watched a podcast last night that proved my theory. That proved my theory. Doesn't it doesn't prove it. But it was it our podcast? <laughs> it doesn't yeah. prove it. You watched it last yeah. week. Like, I I'm told right. you. Listen, <laughs> it doesn't told prove you. it. It might try to back some of your The same shit that you up. watch that backs your theories. Nobody's saying it's right. Nobody's 100% no, right. That's no, all I'm saying. No, we know it's right. Because oh, it's obvious. It's, Science. And what I see last night is obvious and, 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 and uh, whatever. You know, like we talked about small machines, small tool, large tools, like taking a big fucking, taking something like this and then putting something on this, put it on there. And yeah. Hoist it. And to make three exact pyramids. All right, oh, and don't, don't start. Don't say the P word. Yeah, we don't have to. Don't we're not getting word. into this. But what I'm saying is. Yes. You were talking about Science. cult leaders, see? Yeah. I know. Well, you see how you get me? You started with the fucking synopsis. And then I fucking sidetracked at me. Yeah, well. Now we're out well, of time. Biggest, Col cults and shit are crazy because people are cult fucking leader. stupid. No, He's it's in just, the hospital yeah, just, right now. Who? Pope somebody. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's all that's the biggest. Shit is. That's the biggest cult. One of the biggest cults. Yeah. You know, definitely. I'll as tell I get you older, what. I'm having a hard time with religion as I get older. I'll tell Good. you what, yeah. since you brought the Pope up, 99% of the world's problems could be solved from the articles in the basement of the Vatican. Yeah, I heard there's a lot of scary shit on, that goes on in there. Everything. You know how much wars will end over like that's just the knowledge of all the shit that they whitewashed through history? The Vatican's in Italy, right? Yeah. But that's considered its own fucking thing, though. Right. Its own country. Own army. Yeah. Yeah. That that's fucking insane. They got so bro. much gold and treasures and shit yeah. in there. I heard they had the real picture, supposedly, if, if there is a real, G, the real picture of Jesus there, that they won't release to the public. They do. It's a selfie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's a selfie of some dude out front. Yeah, because he's not Pope, Denid Pope Benedict's drawing right. of his son. Yeah. Yeah. They took all that shit away. Well, like the spear of destiny, that Roman spear that stabbed Jesus when he was on the cross, and the crown of thorns. Don't they had that still? Yeah. No, they sold it on fucking I'm eBay. I'm saying, I thought it was deteriorating. <laughs> That's fucking no. thousands of years ago. They sold it on V-Bay. Yeah. Oy-Bay. That's Vatican, <laughs> Vatican, eBay.
They sold it. Dude, imagine Louisville. having that spear. But, yeah, it'd be sweet. I carry it everywhere. But like all that stuff's priceless. All the gold and stuff they have. Yeah, in like there you couldn't sell that, right? All the books and stuff, the knowledge. Like say you just solve so many problems. What happens if a heroin Every. addict broke in there, right, and stole that shit? Where's he gonna sell it? To a drug dealer. Yeah, but you, you <laughs> can't. First off, you, couldn't you, ain't, it, getting it, you ain't getting you ain't it. But I'm just saying, for, just so, let, let's just pretend it happened, right? Okay. A drunkie goes in there, he gets He gets the, the spear to kill Jesus, the fucking crown, the thorns. And you think now, where that you gonna, some junkie's going to go into a pawn shop or somewhere and be like, yo, this is this <laughs> this the fucking like, oh, thorn. Cool. You think the guy's going to believe him? No. He'll put it, he'll take it off. <laughs> you want to buy this? His face is bleeding. You want to buy this, man? <laughs> Look, man, I got his rib. Smell his balls. Yeah. <laughs> I smell Jesus' balls. That's fucked up. Yeah, man. Yeah. It's too far, man. Yeah, there, there's yeah. a line, Whoa, fats. whoa. Oh, there's now. a line hey. here. Oh, yeah. Now you draw a line with me again. Yeah. yeah. Just by the fucking wild card here? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Disrespecting Jesus right. as Christ. Yeah. How dare you? Oh, yeah. The guy who fucking killed him and put him on a cross. He didn't disrespect him, though, did he? Who? The guy who killed him and put him on a cross. Who? Pontius Pilate. That, whoever his name is. Pontius Pilate is know. the one that was like, yo, you get a choice. Barbaros or Jesus. Barbaros was like a murdering rapist, and the people chose Barbaros over Jesus. to go. He was like, I'll give you a choice. Either Jesus dies or Barbaros dies. He let the Barbaros go to murdering rapists over Jesus. Wow. Well, that's like that's like America. Yeah. <clears throat> Suck on that, you crumbs. We'll see you next week. Yep, I'm ready again. <laughs>